Hey, Doki, Doki Literature Club, and yeah, let's let's begin this thing. You hoo! <laughs> So, um, last episode, out of these four choices, we covered Monica first. So now, let's go with my second favorite, which is going to be Yuri. Mm. Yuri stands at the poem. A minute passes, more than enough time for her to finish the reading. Um. Oh. Sorry. I forgot to start speaking. <clears throat> Frank. Um. It's fine. Don't force yourself. Like, yeah. I'm not. I just need to put my thoughts into words. Hold on. <clears throat> my, vo- my voice can't physically do this. But I'm gonna try. You know, need to. Okay. This is your first time writing a poem, right? Oh, uh, yeah. Why do you ask? I'm just making sure. I guess that I might. I guess that it might be after reading it through it. Ah, uh, so it's that bad? <laughs> no! <laughs> oh god, what's the worst depression ever? Just no! Uh. Did I just. Did I just raise my voice? I'm so sorry. Yuri buries in her fa- bur- buries in her face with her hands. What the frick was that? I couldn't help but notice that it's been more than several minutes, and we haven't really have we haven't we really haven't gotten anywhere. It might take Yuri a while to get used to the new people. It's fine. I, I didn't I didn't notice. It's, 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 it's good. It's, 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 it's all right. Just. <laughs> Oh, Frank. What were you saying? Right. <clears throat> Why? Anyways. <clears throat> right. Um. It's just. That, it's just that there are specific writing habits that are usually typical of, of new writers. And having been through that myself, I kind of learned to pick up on them. I think it's the most noticeable thing. I'm recognizing new writers is that they try to make the new st- the style more deliberate. In other words, they tend to pick fighting styles separate from the topic matter, and they form fit the two together. Damn, this is like, ooh, it's horror. Let's make this more close to my mouth. Um, yeah. The end result is that both and. In- in- both the style and expressiveness are meekened. Once Yuri finds her restraint of thought, it's as if her d- d- demeanor totally changes. Her stammering is completely gone and sounds like an expert. Of course, that's not something you can be blamed for. There are so many different skills and techniques that go into it. Into writing is even a simple poem. Not just finding them and building them, but getting them to work together is probably the most challenging part. It might take you some time, but it all comes with practice and learning by example and new things. Also, hope hope that everyone else in the club gives you valuable feedback. Natsuki will be a little biased, though. Biased? How? Uh, uh, um... Well, never mind. I shouldn't be talking about people like that. Sorry. It's fine. It's alright. Mm-hmm. This game is pretty fun to play. I'm actually enjoying it because I haven't played it in a couple days, so I'm actually pretty excited to be playing this game again. I'm sure. I'm not sure. No. <clears throat> Frank, sorry. Here we go. I'm not sure if Yuri is apologizing to herself. To me? Or to Natsuki. Do you mind if I read your poem now? Please do. I'd love to share my thought process behind it. Yuri smiles dreamily, as if there's a rare opportunity for her. Which itself is kind of funny. 
Ha ha ha. I don't know. After all, this isn't supposed to be a ledger going. Isn't this supposed Ha! Okay. Read the lines, Colby. After all, isn't this supposed to be a little... Okay. Is, after all, isn't this supposed to be a literature club? Yes. It has to be in handwriting. I cannot read it. Ghost under the light? The tangles of my hair illuminate beneath the ember glow. Bathing. Bathing. Is that what Bathing, it must be this one. The last remaining streetlight to have withstood the test of time. The, the east yet to be replaced by the sickening blue-green hue of the future. I bathe, calms, breathing air. Cal I bathe, calms, breathing air of the present by living in the past. The light flickers. Yeah, I flicker back. Let me go. Let me go. Let me go. How do I do it? Enter. That was a screenshot. I didn't want. To, uh oh. Okay. Nothing important happened. Okay. Uh, I'm. I'm sorry, I'm such a terrible... I have such a terrible handwriting. What? I wasn't thinking that at all. I was, I couldn't read a single thing of that. But it took you a long... Yes, it did. I barely could read it. But that's because I can read handwriting. <laughs> uh, 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 well, I don't read script very often. I actually think your handwriting is pretty. Yeah? That's a relief. Oops, that's a relief. Also, I like the poem. Even though it's short, it was really descriptive. It wasn't too short. I usually write longer poems. Oh, f frack! <laughs> oh, damn it, Colby. Not at all. I'm really glad you like it. Um, <clears throat> I'll be honest. Since it's our first time sharing, I wanted to write something a little m more mild. I'll make this her voice since I can easily re re recreate, re recreate that voice. Something that's easy to digest, I suppose. <laughs> Sounds like I'm plugging my nose. <laughs> that's it's really a terrible voice, but that's all I can do. Are you into ghost jury? <laughs> Actually, the story is pretty... The story isn't about a ghost at all, Colby. Really? Okay, you know what? I'll try to do a soft voice again. I must have totally missed the point. <laughs> well, I suppose... Well, I suppose... <clears throat> well, I suppose... You didn't... You didn't... Only glance over it after all. But I remember the poets often... Express their own thoughts, feelings, and experiences in their work. They usually do more than tell a simple story or paint a picture. In this case, perhaps the subject of the poem is only being symbolically compared to a ghost, lingering in her last remaining place as comfort, unable to let go of the past, and soon to be left with nothing. That's a lot more solemn than putting it that way. I hadn't even thought of that. That's impressive. It's nothing really. Well, it makes me happy that you think that. Just remember that it won't be long, be long before you pick on, up on these things, too. Yeah, maybe you're right. I guess I'll have to keep trying. I'm counting on you. Hi, I want. I'm not sure. You know what? Screw it. We'll do Sayori next, then we'll end the episode. I, I wanted to make this episode shorter, but eh, he'll be fine. This episode's good enough. Oh, <clears throat> oh my goodness! This is so good, Colby. Eh? 
I love it! <clears throat> I had no idea you were such a good writer! Sorry? You must be seriously overreacting. I'm not good at writing at all. I honestly have no idea what I'm doing. Well, maybe that's why! I have no idea what I like either. <clears throat> Frick, I had a good voice going on there. <clears throat> because I have no idea what I like either. <laughs> Jeez. Nuri's opinion was way more constructive than this. Maybe even Natsuki's. Wait a second, uh, was it supposed to be Natsuki first? Are you sure you don't like it just because I wrote it? Well, I'm, I'm sure that's part of it. I think you understand be better than a lot of other people, you know. When I read your poem, it's not just a poem. It's a Kobe poem. That's what it makes you feel extra special. I can, like, I can feel your feelings in it. Sorry, I hugged your seat against her chest. You're so weird, Siori. <laughs> I'm really happy just that you wrote that. You blah 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 blah. I'm really happy that you just wrote. Blah, ha, ha. I'm really happy just that you, just that you wrote one. It reminds me of how re you're really a part of the club now. Not to mention that the fact that I'm standing in front, of <clears throat> in front of the you in the club room. Oh uh, well, of course. Mm -hmm. Okay, maybe we can do it. <laughs> so you have to hear that. That's what I do when I try to do my voice. It's like I go. Ee! My, my throat got screwed up since I, my tonsils were like I had tonsillitis, and now it's like screwed up for some reason. Mm, see, it's like I said before, Colby. Deep down, you're not selfish at all. You know, I'm trying things like this from from other people. That's something that only really good people do. Thanks, Sari. I'm not sure if Sari sees the full picture of my motive here. And again, I can't deny that she's part of the reason I joined. Knowing how much that means to her and all. Yeah! And I'm going to make sure you have lots of fun here, okay? That will be my way of thanking you. Alright, uh, I'm going to hold it, hold it to that then. Yay! Now you'll read my poem too, right? Don't worry, I'm not really bad at this. <laughs> well, we'll see about that. Okay, this one's easy. I'll read it in her voice too. Dear Sunshine, the way you glow through my blinds in the morning makes me feel like you missed me. Kissing my father will tell me out of my bread. Make me rub the sleepy from my eyes. Are you asking me to come out and play? Are you trusting you to wish away a ra rainy day? I look above. The sky is blue. It's a secret, but I trust you too. If it wasn't you, I couldn't. I could sleep forever. But I'm, I'm not mad. I want breakfast. <laughs> That's gonna be the title. I want breakfast. One second, I'm taking a picture that I'm, on, I'm putting this on Twitter. <laughs> okay, that was freaking awesome. I want breakfast! Sayori, it's just a guess, but did you just wait until this morning to write this? No! Just a little bit. Can you, you can answer just a little bit to a yes or no question. I forgot to do it last night. Well, at least that makes me feel a little better about myself. Oh, don't be mean. I try my best. Oh, frick. <laughs> it's like, I don't, don't be mean. It's like, try my best. <laughs> I tried my best. Oh, yeah? I didn't mean to say that it was a bad, bad poem. It just came out nice. And or how should I put it? Sounds just like you. <laughs> really? Yeah. 
Especially that last one. <laughs> I want breakfast. I made egg and toast. Even though you're, you're late to school. It's bad to skip breakfast. I get all cranky. Well, I guess there's no point in arguing. Anyway, thanks for showing me around. Or showing me. <laughs> that was so much fun! Monica is the best! Oh, yeah? But next time, I won't forget. I'm gonna write the best poem ever! Well, uh, I'm looking forward to it. And that's wrapping up this episode, guys! Next episode, we're gonna finish up this part. And I know this could I could finish it today, but I wanna end this episode off here since it's probably already 20 minutes long. So, anyways, guys, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next one. Tony. <laughs>